You know, every once in a while you run across a new grape varietal and you go, what the hell is that? Well, I found one. It's grown really only in three different areas in the world. One of them being Bainbridge Island. So we're going to go ahead and discuss this Madeline Angevine Bainbridge Vineyards 2016. <sighs> That's a mouthful. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Scott. You've tuned into the Rookie Wine and Whiskey Enthusiast channel, YouTube's primary channel for discussing Washington State wines and whiskeys, sometimes spirits, but not exclusively. But tonight, you know, every once in a while you luck out and you find a new grape varietal that we're going to go ahead and discuss tonight. But before we go ahead and do that, if you like this channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, after you do hit the subscribe button, please go ahead and hit the bell icon. That way, when I do upload these types of videos, you guys are some of the first, you'll be the first to know about them. So that being said, Madeline Angevine. Uh, this is a cool climate grape grown primarily in, well, the three primary regions. It is grown elsewhere in the world. Um, the Lorraine area in France, I believe, is one. Uh, Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan was another area, and there is a large uh, growing, well, relatively large for Washington State, uh, growing out on Bainbridge Island, which is a island out in the Puget Sound. Now, so this is a Puget Sound uh, AVA grown grape. A lot of what a lot of people think of when they think of Washington State is the grapes grown in eastern Washington, and a lot of the wineries out in western Washington buy their grapes, but this Bainbridge Vineyards. They do grow their own estate-grown grapes, so they specialize in grapes that will grow in the cooler, moister climates. So when I saw this, I picked this bottle up at High Spirits out in Polesbo, which is a great spirits and wine shop. If you are ever in the Polesbo area, they are not paying me to say this. It is a great shop. Please go out there and visit them. So I saw this, and I was intrigued because I've never heard of Madeline Angevine. And, and I'm probably saying that wrong, but I wanted to, I, I like the, well, the description on the back said it was a crisp, uh, citrusy style of wine. And I'm a big fan of Semillon, which tends to be a little bit crisper, a little bit drier. Now, this one's not as dry, but let's go ahead and look right into it. As you can tell, this is a straw. This is a very clear straw color. Um, I would say, Pale. I mean, it looks like it almost looks like water. So let's go ahead and write on the nose on this. Now I do get a musty fruit note. There's uh, some musty melon, a little bit of green apple. I get a hay or a, an alfalfa, fresh cut hay or alfalfa nose on this. Now there is a citrus note on this as well, and it's almost like a lime note is what I'm getting. It's not very intense. I mean, you really have to get your nose almost right in the glass to, to, to be able to, uh, to sip this. Now, this is the 2016. I did do some research and the 2017 was actually uh, listed very highly rated by Wine Enthusiast Magazine. Um, also has won some awards. So this is the year previous is the one I found. Now, I did pay $23 a bottle for this. So let's go ahead and take a sip on this. Okay. This is first, this is a medium bodied white. There's some good acidity to it. I would say medium, medium plus. Very low tannic, tannic wine, obviously. I would say, um, well, the alcohol in this, I think, is eleven and a half percent. It doesn't you don't you don't even taste the alcohol in this at all. So medium minus to very low. Um, the uh, the acidity, like I said, it's about a medium plus, but there's a sweetness and it's it's a tart fruits type of sweetness. Um, I get a little bit of that melon and some uh, that citrus note, like that lime. I would say it's probably medium to medium minus on the sweetness on this. 
maybe off dry. Actually, let's call it off dry. Um, the finish on it is relatively quick, but it's refreshing. This is a very refreshing wine. This it's almost a, a very good palate cleanser. Yeah, this is a hot days type of wine. Um, almost like a, if you were to sit out on your deck in, on a hot summer day with a tart glass of lemonade or limeade, this would be, this is similar to what you, what you would, uh, what you would do with. So that being said, what am I going to go ahead and rate this? Um, I like this wine. I really do. Uh, this does hit my wheelhouse. It actually, instead of a Semillon, it reminds me more of a Pinot Gris, a crisp Pinot Gris, except with the uh, a little bit more of the, the hay or alfalfa note on the nose. Um, would I buy this wine again? Yeah. Matter of fact, I have wanted to hit Bainbridge Vineyards on my uh, when I've gone out to the peninsula. Um, this wine has convinced me that they do have they that they know what they're doing. I do know that they have some estate-grown Pinot Noirs, which I'm interested in. Um, so I'm going to probably get out there and taste that. So what am I going to rate this? Uh, I'm going to rate this a solid 88 out of 100. This one is a good, refreshing wine. I would buy this again. Matter of fact, uh, you know, my wife and I are having pork chops tonight. And I think this probably would pair very well with pork chops. I also think, though with that tartness this would pair extremely well with shellfish um, oysters clams things like that so anyways if you like this content please go ahead and like i said subscribe down uh subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon have you had anything from bainbridge vineyards <laughs> i had to make sure i didn't say bainbridge island vineyards um let me know have you guys ever had a madeleine angevine varietal like i said i I was shocked that this was grown um, here in the Puget Sound area, and it just kind of piqued my interest. Let me know down below in the, in the comments. Also, is there another type of, is there another Angeline Van, Madeline Angevine, boy, that's really is a mouthful, that you guys would like to have me try to find and taste out. So that being said, I hope everybody is surviving the quarantine, the stay at home. Please be safe, you know, uh, and again, like I've mentioned a couple of videos ago, you know, there's a lot more people staying home. You know, take it easy on the alcohol. Please be safe. Don't drink and drive. So, as always, life is too short for either bad wine or bad whiskey. Cheers from the Puget Sound area, from Western Washington here in the Lake Taps area. Yeah, that's good.